How cool is that, eh? And the sad thing is I missed almost every hole slightly. sure when I put this on if I was going to like it or not, but I think it gives the car a bottom, so I think I'm going to leave it. And then that's our piece that goes in there. The car's getting dirty. It's sitting in here. I'll do the other side and I'm going to do it inside right there. Still going to touch up those areas. I even thought about doing like a faux format here and there, right here and up in the footwell. So there, there's the inside of that. Pretty okay. Not too bad. Yeah, carry on. So I did this part here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This is what it should look like. And you just can't hold the line with that vinyl. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to spray paint the inside of the door panel copper. I think that'll look a lot better. And then up here I added the little piece of uh, leatherette up in the corner. I've got to do it over on this side. But yeah, I, I, I don't like that, so I'm going to rip that out. <laughs> now that I've spent, you know, a good hour cutting, putting, and gluing. I just, I don't like it. So, that's coming out. I like that. look a lot better. It's, it's cleaner. Uh, more streamlined. I think the, adding the interior leather just kind of busies everything up. So, we're going to rip that out and uh, paint the inside of the door panel. It needs to be painted anyway. And it's going to show these little fiberglass imperfections, but that's okay. I don't care. That was not pretty, getting that out of there. Pain in the butt. And it left marks where the glue was. You know, hot glue never sticks when you want it to. When you want it to let go, it just can't. Uh, turned the lights on. I, I the green light had quit for some reason, and I found out that I had doused my ends with uh, a little bit of fiberglass on a couple of them. So, I can eat a little touch of something right there on that one. Uh, so yeah, gnarly. Just ripped it to shreds. Same one thing for. The hot glue, it's stuck to that stuff. Came off the wood pretty easy, but man, the two of them together. I'm gonna hit the lights for a second here. Because, yeah, I'm a nerd. Am I the coolest mom in the world or what? Check that out. as he will. We, we tried a windshield. I had a windshield on it. And like I said, I busted the plexiglass. So we're going to go a different route. This time I got a little wrinkle right there. You know what though? I'm not going to take that back out. Too big of a pain. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm going to use a wood frame. This one has to be sanded down. But that's going to go there and we'll come up and around. And that'll give me something a little more stable to attach the header bow essentially to. So that's got to be sanded and mocked up and the other pieces added to it, unfortunately. Couldn't make it as far this weekend as I wanted to. Uh, but we did, did get a, a 
turn the lights back on now. I've had my show. Um, did get a steering wheel kind of made up. And I dug through that bin of washers over there and found. I have no idea what that's off of, but it's a parts bin. That blue parts bin. You got it for five bucks. Full of parts. So that'll go. Right there. It's gonna look pretty cool. Still don't know what we're gonna do with the steering wheel. We've talked about it. Uh, so I'm thinking about just sanding it down and doing the handle parts. So here and here. Just wrapping them in leather and then painting this some color completely different than our color scheme here like a bright red or a bright blue or green I might stick with green since I've got a green light in here so hot blue string okay so I admit it couldn't stand it I had to see what it was going to look like Mm-hmm. How freaking cool is that? I don't have that. That wheel is on there wrong. You can see how it's tipped in. Oh, sorry, I had the camera too high. Tipped in a little bit. It's actually not, it's just barely balanced on there. Make a little hook to see what that's gonna look like on there. I don't think it'll balance there. <laughs> okay, I gotta put So there's what we got for a sidecar base without the sidecar on. And then last night I spent way too much time uh, attempting to put a toggle switch in the sidecar. Why is this telling me my battery is low? Hang on just a second. Alright. Try that again. Uh, so I took the sidecar off. It wasn't even attached to that and uh, straightened that wheel up. It was a little bit caca. And then I spent most of the night, uh, sadly enough, uh, putting a toggle switch in the cockpit. And this is the result, the aftermath of, of that. And I uh, touched up those two areas that were uh, wood filler. Um, but this is basically what we've got. In, uh, I, don't, I think a 9-volt battery, these are just little Christmas lights that are in there. I think a 9-volt battery will run this. So rather than put this big battery in. So we put a lighted uh, toggle switch in there. So that uh, he could have some fun with that. But I had to recess the where the, the bolt, the little nut screws on it. And... I had to turn it from the back side and it has two tabs on the ends. had to bend those in enough to get it to where I could turn it because I had to just hold this little ring. I had to grind the edges down. You know, it's got sides on it. I had to grind those down so it would fit back in there and then I just had to turn the toggle switch behind it and hold it and uh, hope against hope I would get a thread the first, first shot and I got it about the second or third shot. Uh, so we've got that 
mocked up. I put a board uh, behind this main board here uh, on the back side. That was also a bear getting in so that I could attach the steering column and it's it's solid. And then our steering wheel will get mounted there and I'll put a cotter pin in here to keep this from going back but it, he'll be able to pull it out uh, as far as he needs to to adjust it to his seat. So uh, that's what we got for that. It's like that nail right there is kind of coming out. Uh, and I'll have to clean all this up. I also put the side panels in. I need to probably pull. I just got them glued at the top. Pull that one out and trim the bottom up so it doesn't do that wrinkle. But I like that look a lot better than what we had before. Oops. Uh, just really looks more finished. Uh, I did get the stroller handle uh, mocked up and cut. So this is a lawnmower handle that I will need to weld together. So that'll get welded up. It ends up working perfectly to where it'll go right down. I just need to heat these two sides up a little bit and just barely bend it out. And I may not even have to. I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in the bottom and see if I can get it in there. And then I'll just have to wear, weld the square down here on the bottom. And uh, probably weld another loop for that to go into and get pinned on. So just run a pin through it. Uh, so I need to heat, still need to heat these and bend them out anyway. So I've got to get the torch off and heat those up and try it. And then uh, I'm going to have to use some permanent uh, bond or glue and go around and kind of fill in all the areas that kind of pop out. So, not so I've kind of skipped ahead a little bit and uh, didn't turn the camera on. I had a chance to work on some things. We, uh, <laughs> I'm on the third windshield design and I think, I think that's it. It took me three tries. Uh, I left the little protective plastic coating on there for now. I'm still putting on working with it some, but we, we had something that looked like that. And it looks like a Bible. So I nixed that. Um, my poor husband cut that and did such a nice job. Beveled the cut on the bottom, beveled the center cut so it would go together nicely to have a little split windshield. But it just, I don't know, it took away from the line of the car somehow. So, we'll keep that. We may use that for another project. Throw it down here. Uh, but I used a couple of wrenches and just bent them. And it's, it's strong. And it's, it's somewhat adjustable. The curve itself is adjustable. So, I could take this in and turn these guys in so that this pops towards the center more. I've got a little touch up to do here. We were planning on putting the windshield there. Uh, added the seatbelt. Get that all in. It's the belt. It's secured in the back. A plate on the bottom. Hopefully we're not in any real collisions. It's more of just to keep him in the seat. And then we'll mock that up. Put that side mirror in there tomorrow. Uh, I did oops, sorry, add a light to the steering column, which is pretty cool. And I just kind of left it hollow. I think it turned out really nice. So, uh, that's his little dash. Pretty cool. I love this. Right here. 
really gives it kind of a, almost like a haunting look. I don't know what's in there. It's a spaceship. So, uh, got that done. Got the windshield done, which I'm feeling good about. Welded the, and I did not do a very good job on that. Welded the stroller bar up tape or something stuck to me. And uh, got a little flag uh, holder. And it's actually, let's see if I can get this at all. It's actually one of those uh, fish cleaning knives pouches that I got at the, uh, an auction. It has this nice tooling on it. So you can put a little windmill, really big thing in there. Or we'll put that <coughs> flag. So I've got that welded up. I welded uh, a couple of corner plates down the bottom. I barely hit on that one, so I may have to bend that pipe out there or cut a new one. Um, I'll grind these corners and it is a little cleaner. Got the uh, quick connect wired up to the back of the car there, so to put the buggy wheel on, if you will, you just quick release that, and there's a spindle that goes over here, that I roll it up, got that rolled up tonight, and so that will bolt and be between the two rail holders to put this wheel on when it's in stroller mode, and actually this just bolts to the bottom, it doesn't even have to be welded. So that's ready to go. Um, put a reflector there, put a reflector there. Uh, the only thing I have left is that side mirror and a canopy. And I may actually go ahead and put that side mirror on tonight. I'm thinking about this canopy. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put that. But these are just kind of like fiberglass te temple. Whoops. They're not temples. It's actually kind of a fiber optic cable thing, I think, because this came from my dad. And it was a big piece, and I cut it down. So it'll probably have to go about right here. And I, what I may do is just kind of put a bungee strap hook somewhere down on this board here and this will just come down and kind of hook to it and not really uh, attached to anything. Well, I can't get it to cooperate. So obviously it has to be tall enough for him to still sit in, so it'll have to be about right there. Oops. I think that'll work. So we'll just sew a piece of fabric that has three snaps here. One, two, three. One on each side, here and here. It'll be wider, obviously, at the back, narrow at the front, and just bungee. I'll probably put two hooks on the floor and just make a couple bungee strings. Go down. <sighs> Let's see. So, I think I pretty much got everything off my checklist for tonight. And the time check, I'm gonna guess 130? <laughs> 130. Jeez. That's AM. Uh, so, yeah, maybe. Go ahead and get this guy in. Um, I'm thinking about right there. And I don't have to go in very far at all. That's going to be scary putting a hole in that fiberglass. What you say? What can we see? Can we see anything that's there? Or just the width of the car. Inhibit. 
It's mainly just what it looks like. You can put it right there. That's probably too. We'll put it up here. Hmm. Let me see what I can come up with on that. So we have a hole on the side of the sidecar. Scary. Uh, well, a nut. I don't know. Uh, and I'm trying to find what I think it is. It's a wood up there. Okay. Let's see what we got. I had to bend this washer too because this is going to cook. I might try to get that out. Change my curly key a little bit just to get that out away from the car. Although it might be nice to have it touching it with a little piece of felt because then the pressure point is not going to be on that fiberglass. I like it. The green nut probably does need to be painted, but other than that, I like it. There you go. Is that your turn signal? On. Yeah, is that your turn signals? Bite on, bite turn on. What color is this turn signal? Ding. Uh huh. What color is this one? Turn it off. Did you turn your turn signals off? Turn your lights on. Here, watch. Shut the lights off in the garage. Now, now do your light switch. Now look at your lights. <gasps> look at your lights in here. See how bright they are? 